Today I'm going to show you how to make this onion and chive cauliflower hash browns. They're delicious. Okay, so you're going to need two cups of riced cauliflower. Now that'd be about half of one large head of cauliflower if you want to rice it yourself. I'm just using one of those packages from the store where it's already done for me. Uh, then you need one large egg, a quarter teaspoon of salt, and a few cracks of fresh black pepper. We're going to need one tablespoon of very finely diced onion, so nowhere near this much. I just want to show you how fine we're going to dice it. And then it says a teaspoon each of finely diced red pepper and green pepper or capsicum. I've only got a red one, so I'm just going to use uh, two teaspoons of that. Then she calls for a small block of something called Cotswold cheese or double Gloucester, uh, which comes with an onion and chive flavor in it. Any cheese you like will work. I've got this trilogy here that's got a roasted onion and chive flavor on the one side and also some smoked and vintage so I'm going to probably use a mix of that. Uh, lastly you need a half a tablespoon of olive oil. Okay so with the onion I'm just going to chop off a section here because again we only need about a tablespoon all up once it's finely diced. And I'm going to go back and forth in really thin little slices and then we'll just go back the other direction and do the same thing. Turn it all other direction and go small dice again. So see what you're aiming for is just really small little chunks like that. Okay now the same thing with your red pepper, green pepper, capsicum, whatever you're using. I'm just going to slice off a good sized chunk there. Or you can use two, two colors or just one like I'm doing. Same thing. I'm just going to go back and forth in thin strips first. Turn it the other direction again. Same thing as the onion, just small little chunks. Okay, so then in a bowl, you're going to want to combine your two cups of the riced cauliflower that was nearly the whole package, your egg, salt, pepper, a tablespoon of onion, and a couple of good teaspoons of the chopped capsicum or red pepper as well. Now we'll mix that all together really well. The eggs should help it to bind a bit. Get it really well coated so eggs on everything. Now I've already added the olive oil in a large frying pan here and I've had it preheating over medium high heat. If you've got a smaller pan that's fine you can make these one at a time by just dividing the mixture in half. So we're going to make two separate ones in this larger pan. Okay so the way I want to do that is to guess about half of the mixture and we'll spoon it into two separate little shapes. Don't worry too much at this stage, we're going to shape them ourselves. So you're going to want to use your spoon to sort of flatten that shape down to about a third of an inch or so and sort of shape it as well. Push the sides in. You might find it easier with a wooden spoon. This is a little bit bigger. You can squish it flatter. And just try to bring the sides in as well so they're not... So it's kind of rounded or whatever shape you want it to be really. You could make it rectangular if you like. And once we've got that flattened out, we'll do the other one quick. And then we want to let it set in that shape and continue frying until it starts getting browned on the bottom side. And the egg's going to help hold it all together, hopefully. So don't touch it or flip it now for several minutes, and then we'll check the bottom. So now that's been four minutes, and I can see that it is browning really nicely on the bottom. But I can also see it's likely going to break if I try to flip it. So maybe my patties came out a little bit bigger. I'm going to try cutting it down the middle, see if that makes it any easier to flip the separate pieces. If not, I think I'd be able to separate it, all right? If it breaks apart a little, it's not going to be any less delicious. Let's see if I can put that one. There we go. Try to do the same with this one. There you go. So you may have to cut it into smaller pieces if you have the same trouble with yours. Okay, you can shred the cheese if you'd rather, but we're going to have to lay it on top of those patties, so I'm going to try slicing it. I'll start just with the chive and olive side. So 
And while that's cooking on the bottom side, I'm just going to lay these on top. I'm just going to let that cheese melt on there while the bottom side cooks. Okay, so this has been going for another four minutes. I'm just going to go ahead and take them off the heat and we'll plate them up. So there they are, onion and chive hash browns made from cauliflower. And it's really tasty. The cheese really adds a nice kick to it, I must say. Uh, with any of the leftover uh, capsicum or red pepper and onion in that, I just sort of fried it a bit with my sausages and threw it on there as a bit of a garnish. So I hope you enjoy it. It's really very good.